Now, the service for self-streaming consists of three major platforms, Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. Now, YouTube is a big platform itself where most of its creators only are only there to create videos of themselves or doing something or anything. But their side service will be streaming and with their algorithm, most streamers won't get notices as much as creators in itself making their own videos. Now, this is why most streamers then move on to Twitch and thrive more as they migrate towards from YouTube towards Twitch. And Twitch is a place where the main service provides just streams. So as soon as you go into their page, it's just full of streams. You won't see any videos or any side services. It's just for streams. Mixer. Now, Mixer is sort of on the same line with Twitch as their main demographic is streamers, but Mixer is becoming big in the streamer industry as they sign contracts from already big streamers to specifically only stream on their platform. And now smaller streamers are following in their steps to move from their current stream platform to Mixer. Now, streaming like this used to be considered a hobby. Awesome to do when you were bored, but now low end streamers can actually make some good dosh off of this. Now, what streamers do you, uh, what streamers do do is they earn money from donations and subscriptions they get from their followers. Now, this question will be, will be at least some or not a lot of money, but some low end, some low end streamers do keep a foot from this and those low end streamers inherit from a hobby towards an actual job. High-end streamers also make a living off this, with famous names such as such as Ninja and Shroud. Now they make big dosh out of this job, and because they're big, they get seen by big advertisements and sponsorships, all well, see influencers. And as I said before, they make a living off of this. Like their whole lives depend on streaming because of these sponsorships and influencers that come out to them, give them money for advertising their stuff, and that's how a lot of people make money from the streaming industry. Talking about streamers, we have a streamer that agreed for me to interview her. Jess is a Twitch streamer going by her online alias as Bernal, with at the time 203 followers. Known for streaming games on her Twitch with her friends, even setting up events and making for a fun streamer to just sit back and be entertained by with funny commentary and funny actions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get him, he's weeb! Get him! Why is he getting him? He's a failure. Now I'm here with Berno or Jess, what would you like to call you? Either or. Either or? Well, I have just a few questions for you, either or Jess. <laughs> Quick question, what made you want to become a streamer? The fact that you're able to bring together a community and their one common thing is that they enjoy the games that you play. So basically, it's like a place you can get together with friends and hang out, but over the internet, correct? Yeah, you just hang out, enjoy each other. It's like you just build this whole little community. You say it's based around games. Yeah, for the most part, but you could do it where it's not built just around games. A lot of streamers that are IRL. There's also like fun. ASMR streams as well. ASMR streams? Yeah, True. mukbangs and stuff like that. What is streaming to you? Is it like a hobby or? It's a hobby. It's a, It always starts off as a hobby and you just hope that it just becomes a job one day. Would you say it's enjoyable and what is enjoyable from it? I enjoy it a lot. I feel like if you don't enjoy it, then you shouldn't be doing it. The community and just like a bunch of people coming together. That's the most part that I enjoy. Especially if you join the Discord or even if you don't join Discord. How some streamers do have like their own Discord, but it's just like the community and like the people hanging out and chilling and that's just what i love about it what is discord basically you could use it to it's a it's mostly what gamers use or people who are interested in like gaming to like a messenger it's a messenger app ah so it's like a messaging app like snapchat or whatsapp but for streamers most people who are in streaming they have discords because you can make your own servers and stuff like that or you could join different servers and it just brings it back to the community if you could give advice to a you wannabe streamer, what would it be? Start by streaming something you love and think you can talk about. If you talk a lot or even if you don't talk, because I have troubles when it comes to like, or like making the space yours, that's it basically. Or like keeping 
the space not awkwardly silent. Make sure if you stream, stream something that you can keep talking about or like are interested in and really excites you. It's just a whole like magnetic effect. You're gonna attract what you put out. So you're like a magnet. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, what would you say are the negatives to streaming? I guess there's always like toxicity. Even more so when you stream, you're putting yourself out there. So I guess the only negatives is just toxicity. So toxic people and people out there trying to make your day worse. That's mostly what I can think about. Other than if you don't stay interested in what you're doing, streaming just becomes like a drag for you. Something you have to do when it should be something that you want to do. And at that point it goes from a hobby to becoming a big drag, right? Where it's just like, ugh, I gotta stream, not like, oh yeah, I get to stream. Now, that's all my five questions done. Is there anything you want to say to the people at home? To anyone? No, give him an A. Now, that concludes this short documentary where we learnt about the types of platforms for streamers, the difference between small and big streamers, how they earn money, how they make a living from streaming, and how streaming is like from a streamer's point of view. And that is my streamer documentary.